This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law states that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of particles. Here we have three balloons with each balloon containing one mole of gas. At STP, which is a temperature of 273 Kelvin and a pressure of 1.00 times 10 to the power 5 pascals, each balloon has a volume of 22.7 decimeters cubed. And according to Avogadro's law, each balloon contains the same number of particles. Next, we'll have a look at some examples using Avogadro's law. In our first example, 40 centimeters cubed of carbon monoxide reacts with 40 centimeters cubed of oxygen. What volume of carbon dioxide is produced and what volume of the excess reactant remains? Here we have the balanced equation for the reaction. Because we're dealing with gases, we can say that two volumes of carbon monoxide react with one volume of oxygen to form two volumes of carbon dioxide. So let's start by determining the limiting reactant. We're told in the question that we have 40 centimeters cubed of carbon monoxide and oxygen. Because of the one to two ratio, 40 centimeters cubed of oxygen requires 80 centimeters cubed of carbon monoxide to react completely. Because we only have 40 centimeters cubed of carbon monoxide, this makes it the limiting reactant. So carbon monoxide is the limiting reactant and oxygen is the excess reactant. So next, we'll determine what volume of carbon dioxide can be made and what volume of oxygen remains. 40 centimeters cubed of carbon monoxide, which is the limiting reactant, reacts with 20 centimeters cubed of oxygen. This is because of the 2 to 1 ratio. So when we subtract 20 from 40, we are left with 20 centimeters cubed of oxygen remaining. And next, the carbon dioxide. If we look at the ratio of carbon monoxide, which is the limiting reactant, to carbon dioxide, we can see it's a 2 to 2 ratio. We started with 40 centimeters cubed of carbon monoxide, so that means we'll be able to make 40 centimeters cubed of carbon dioxide. So the composition of the final mixture will be 0 centimeters cubed of carbon monoxide, because it's the limiting reactant, 20 centimeters cubed of oxygen, and 40 centimeters cubed of carbon dioxide. 